Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a spoiler if you haven't played the new DLC, because I'll be talking about stuff related to the DLC. Anyways, uh, I'm here to talk about the gun called the Lucky 7. Now, this gun comes at 50% chance from one of the Claptrap bosses here in the Compactor map. Uh, now, this is a boss that you have to beat uh, during the story. Uh, it's right about the end of the DLC, and he has a 50% chance to drop this pistol. Now, this is an interesting pistol. This pistol can be the best and the worst pistol in the game. Now, if you reload it, it has a random chance, as you can see from uh, from here, I pause it so you can get a better view. Uh, you can get five perks on it, zero to five. Trash, meaning you didn't get the perk, and it will display the perk. So uh, in, in this slot, you can get auto aiming. Uh, this is full auto. Uh, this is fire damage, this is explosive, and this is the most important one, which is lucky seven. This makes the pistol fire like a masher, as you can see from the perk selection. Now you can also reload it, pause, and you can see what you can get. As you, as you can see, we've got full auto and homing. Now, if you get all trash, that means it's just going to be a normal. A Jacob's pistol. Now, playing around with this gun, this gun is pretty random, as you could tell. Uh, but from what I've found, if you get lucky seven and auto aiming, this straight up becomes the best pistol in the game. And I will show you here in a second. As you can see, I got lucky seven, which shoots in a seven pattern. Uh, not sure how many pellets uh, there are, but it's better than a normal Maggie because this actually doesn't get the the damage reduction of it being a masher. Now, as you can see, uh, this also sucks because you know if you want this to be good, you you do have to do a bit of a reloading and then see what kind of perks you get. It's literally a gambling gun. You have to gamble in order to get it. Uh, anyways, uh, you get it from this boss. Um, but yeah. Um, from my testing, this this can become one of the best pistols in the game. Now, I do have a good perk here right now. It's a lucky seven plus uh, homing. As you can see, it just annihilates everything. It is <laughs> simply amazing if you get that perk combination. But also, if you get nothing, it also becomes boring. Now, this... I do consider this one of the best pistols in the game. Mostly because of the perk combination you can get. Because most of the pistols in this game, you can only get one or two perks maximum on them. But the fact that, you know, you can reload and you can also get all five perks all at the same time. And, you know, after this video, I will also probably post a screenshot of me getting all five perks. Although it is rare, but it is possible. Um, but yeah, uh, this is mostly efficient, not for farming, as, as you can see, I got uh, the best perk combination, which is auto, which is the first and last one. And as you can see, uh, I can show you my modifiers. Oh, also, a lot of people told me I don't really show my skill tree doing these videos. Um, I should probably do that more often. But anyways, I'm specced into... Uh, this is my main damage skill right now. Um, and yeah, it's just normal mows with a lot of magazine and a lot of ammo. I also have this Deathless Relic that I should probably put on, honestly. Uh, yeah. And a lot of Ion Cannons that I spent, like, basically the weekend trying to get. But yeah, this is Mayhem 4. No, no modifiers or nothing. Just look at it. And of course you reload and the dream just goes away. <laughs> But yeah, uh, you get it from this boss, which I will kill, and 
Uh, I guess I'll just skip to where I get the drop. And oh, boss is almost dead. And he's dead. Alright. And as you can see, I just got a, a lucky 7. That's actually better than mine, uh, damage wise. And uh, I'll leave you on top of it. Uh, but yeah. I'll take it. It has more reload speed, I think, and more damage. Which is kind of nice. And there it is. So, yeah. That will conclude this video. Now, you can get anointments on it, but considering the effort you have to go for to get, like, the stuff on this gun, uh, probably not worth it. And, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.